Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 219, FAQ Template Administrators. The FAQ template available in Power Pages imagines a scenario where users can access articles by searching or browsing. In this tip, we'll dive deeper into the functionality available for administrators. Administrators are logged in users who have either the administrator's web role or the C1 admin web role. Users with one of these web roles will see two new pages in the main navigation, admin articles and admin topics. The articles page uses the list functionality to display all of the existing articles, including search and the ability to create new articles. Custom JavaScript is used to add the Take Action drop-down button, which allows you to either edit the article or to preview it. To create an article, enter a title, choose a topic, set a status, and enter the body using the Rich Text Editor. You can also add a featured article order if you want it to appear on the home page. If you set a status of draft, it will not be available to the general public. The edit experience for an article is similar. Both the create and edit experiences are built using Power Pages form functionality. The topics page also uses lists and forms. Custom JavaScript is used to create the edit details button as well as the create a subtopic button. This allows the user experience to be different for topics versus subtopics. The forms for creating and editing topics and subtopics are pretty standard, with a PCF control on the topic edit form to allow administrators to provide an icon. It's important to note that the article and topic tables are custom to this Power Pages template. They are unrelated to any knowledge article tables that may come with Dynamics 365 customer service. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 219 on FAQ template administrators useful.